You're this perp back with another video. Just got done watching Raising Canaan season one, episode three. Wow. Okay. Another pretty solid episode. Some things I thought they were going to kind of touch on in this episode. I guess not. And they're going to hold off until a future episode. But there's a lot of things happening in this episode, more so than last week's episode. Um, things are starting to move along. We're starting to get somewhere, you know, after D Wiz had to kind of be that sacrifice. They do have a moment where Kanan and Rock go to D Wiz's mother's house to kind of pay their respects. So that's dope to see, you know, cause you don't really see that normally with shows. They don't show a funeral or, they don't have characters pay respects to those characters, you know, that pass away. So really cool attention to detail with that. That's me personally, you know. Um, also, we get to see more of Jukebox. And I really like Jukebox, the young Jukebox, uh, the actress that's playing her. I really like that we had a moment with her and Nicole. Nicole kind of trying to get Laverne out of that pretty much um, that... I don't know what you would call it, but that stage fright, you know, and we also find out that Nicole can also sing too. So, you know, that might turn into something. Also, Lulu is potentially looking to get into music as well because he's getting also push from Jess, another female character, you know, um, I don't know about Jess though. You know, that's famous sister. She looks like she could possibly be a jump off. I'm wondering how that's going to play off. Um, I think that can go south. I feel I feel like something's going to happen between those two. And there's going to be problems between Lulu and Famous somewhere down the line. Because we get introduced to a lot of different characters. One being Crown, that character that was in the studio with Lulu. Doesn't know much about the ins and outs of a studio. But, you know, he's just there. He's one of the rappers. So it's going to be interesting to see how that whole aspect plays up because, you know, Lulu has been so loyal to Rock and maybe he'll start to see more potential in this and start to make a flip. While we have Marvin, on the other hand, buying a dog for a chick that he barely even knows and cursed. This is the same chick that cursed uh, out your sister. And it just goes to show you that Marvin, I think, doesn't really care about his sister like that like still cares about his sister but he still wants to kind of do his own thing which i think is gonna end up getting him in trouble where if you saw next week's preview that you know marvin's gonna try to do something really uh snake like so i don't know man and he's gonna get kanan involved and speaking of kanan he's starting to get into you know being a dope boy trying to uh be about to be on the corner kind of you know he was at the park he sold his first bit of coke sold it mad cheap like he 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 needed to run those prices up cuz you know but it's cool to see the inception of that and to start to see the Canaan that we see or I should say we're starting to see the build up to that character that we know from the original power series now here was a missed opportunity in the writing even though they kind of alluded to it I was waiting for that moment that he was talking to uh, Deneva about D-Wiz and how she asked him, did he do that? And I was waiting for Kanan to respond like, yeah, he did that shit. That would have been hilarious. That was a missed opportunity for, uh, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so they're starting to kind of connect, which is kind of odd, I guess, because D-Wiz taking the fall for it kind of takes the uh takes that away from Kanan being like the number one suspect which it's it's really weird and I feel like Kanan's gonna figure all this out that his mom was the one that kind of set that up and that's gonna cause some problems between you know the family things are going to start brewing you know um also going back to jukebox real quick it was dope to see how they actually got the stuff, you know, the stolen stuff. They waited for um, the trucks to be opened and stuff, which I don't know how anybody would just 
leave the back of a truck unopened, like opened on, uh, with no security there. The security got one guy, but the guy kind of fought back and beat the shit out of him. They made it look like Jukebox did that, but Jukebox definitely has a box cutter. She's very smart in this, man. She lets Kanan know, like, this is how you talk to people when you're trying to sell something. This is who you look for as far as clientele and stuff. So that's really interesting. I want to see more of those, more of those two, like, working together with certain things. Um, we also get a moment with Rock and Jukebox as well. And they were close at one point, but, you know, they both have kind of uh, love interest in their life. You know, I don't really care for Rock's love interest like Symphony. That's just a weird ass name for a dude. Um, I've been hearing like some people having theories that that might be Ghost's dad, but that doesn't really make sense. I, I, I don't see that happening, but that would be would make that character more interesting. I just think that character is going to be a character that is going to die eventually that's just me and it's gonna make rock kind of go down like a really dark path and you know she might not die this season but i feel like they're really building it up so when we get to that moment uh it's more emotional it hits viewers a lot harder so I like that whole moment too. Like there's some cool moments. Also, we get a little bit more backstory on Detective Malcolm Howard. You know, um how his higher up pretty much wants bigger busts. They they want like the top of the the, the dudes at the top pretty much. They they he wants uh pretty much people to do more, not just make petty arrests and stuff for people that just got, got weed on them or something like that. They want the, uh, the killers, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's a lot of pressure on him because also he's finding out that he is dying. I guess he got some type of cancer or something like that. He really goes in on his partner. They really have this like kind of back and forth, but it, it's kind of, them giving each other like a, a reality check so now we kind of get towards the end end of the episode where rock is trying to like pretty much get control of things so they can start be uh making money again so she comes up with this really devious plan really smart plan too but i feel like it's gonna backfire on her and it's gonna set off this whole entire war is you know she tells malcolm about you know unique reing up and reing up and stuff so i that's snitching right there you just snitched to a cop so like everybody on power has damn near snitched besides tommy i think at this point everybody snitched besides tommy and i think kanan at this point so sh kudos to them but damn rock pretty much dimed out unique to kind of just disturb his business and whatnot. So like I said, all this is going to have ramifications on Rock and she's just going to make it worse. Not knowing that, you know, your brother, your own brother, your own flesh and blood is kind of like trying to start his own kind of business, stealing your own money. Uh, I'm just talking about stuff that we're going to see in the next episode, but it's going to be really interesting to see how all this kind of plays out and how this season's going to end. I like that we're starting to finally get somewhere. I want them to acknowledge that, you know, Jukebox did see D-Wiz get in the car with Lulu. I want that to be addressed in this season. Hopefully they don't, like, wait until next season to address it because I think that'd be kind of sloppy. So to wrap this video up, in a sense, episode three, I think, was pretty solid. Now that I think about it, it's another building up to something else, you know, a lot of building out this world fleshing out new characters we see dean he's pretty much the the big connect for both unique and rock so i wonder what role his character is going to play in the overall show if if that at all i don't know let me know how you guys feel about this episode in the comments below what are your predictions for next week until next time i will see y'all in the next video peace